What is up everybody, this is Rob the Vapor here. And uh, today we're doing a vlog, if you guys have been paying attention to my channel, which you probably haven't, but for, for those of you that have and you haven't seen that I've done a video in a while, uh, there's a reason for it, we're going to talk about it in this video. Uh, so in this vlog we are vaping on my new sexy custom VT40, the C-frame is now black. Uh, Christoph from Sigreen um, got some different colour C-frames. And uh, he did this for me. And I think it's really, really slick. Which makes it look much more sleek. Um, and we're vetting on a Limo too. Uh, we're at 0 0.88 ohms. Um, we are not in temp mode. And uh, we are vaping on some Bordeaux too. Le Main Ver. Something like that. Uh, it's a uh, nectarine. So if you guys seen my last video review, you'd know. But anyway, lack of content is due to me losing my job. So, like, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, uh, I lost my job. So basically what happened is, I'm a chef, I'm a trainee chef. Um, and I was working in a place in my hometown. And uh, it was actually in the opera house in my town. So it was quite fancy. Um, but, well, for whatever reason, the business... Um, we weren't pulling in the numbers that we used to. Probably off season, uh, you know, it's kind of it's a weird time in my hometown. The the busiest time is actually in November usually because October November. So it um during the summer it wasn't as busy as it was during the winter months, which is really weird. But it's off season for like operas during those months, uh, if you get me. So there wasn't many people coming through just to get food, if you know what I mean. So. So we closed down, and uh, yeah, so now I'm sort of trying to figure out what I want to do in general anyway. I'm not like, like I'm sort of trying to see now if I want to do chefing as a full-time thing. I've worked in kitchens on and off since I've been 15, um, because my man does it, so I followed in her footsteps. And I dropped out of school when I was 15, so I'm trying to like figure out what I want to do, you know? So that's, that's part of it. So the reason why there has been no videos is because the disposable income is gone so that that will hold me back a little bit because i know a lot of people think that when they see a youtube reviewer it's oh they get everything for free you know blah 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 but that's not the case you know sometimes you get stuff for free but then you know i i, I would say probably this it's probably like 30 percent of the time you get free stuff and like 70 percent you pay um, the full price, you know. I mean, most of the time you just buy the stuff on the website. It's not like you go down some special avenue. Some companies are, are pretty good at reaching out. You know, Halo, Bordeaux too are pretty good. Um, you know, companies that understand the sort of um, power, I guess, of uh, video um, reviews and companies that have good products. Because if you don't have good products and you're putting out video reviews and you're getting slammed, then that is going to kill your business. But generally speaking, when a company reaches out to video reviewers, I feel like they've got a good product. Generally speaking, that's not always the case. I've had some companies reach out to me with stuff that I'm just totally not interested in and I just know it will be bad. Um, Sega likes, stuff like that. So yeah, that, that's basically it. There's no disposable income right now. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the channel. Um, like, you know, because I, I, I don't really want to take a hi hiatus. But at the same time, it's like, hmm... Um, I, I maybe I might start buying fast tech things maybe once a week, you know, just little tenner, ten euro RDAs or something, and uh, just review one a week or something like that, just to keep me going. Um, you know, I was contemplating reaching out to different companies and asking them if they wanted to supply me with something because I'm a reviewer, but I hate doing that because, like, what that does in my opinion is like you're asking them for a favor before you even review the product, right? So, if you come in and say like, hey, you know, oh, I'd really love to review some stuff, it's, you know, and then if you get it for free, you know, it sort of, it sort of perks you up a little bit, I think. I think a lot of the people that do reach out and do that stuff are guys that um, just want free stuff. So, you know, one of my things was always that I wouldn't ask. But because I have no money and because, you know, I want to keep reviewing, it is a it is a possible option for me. So I don't know. I don't know. I might do that. 
but um you know realistically probably not i i really do hate asking people f for free shit um so probably not so i'm gonna talk a little bit about bordeaux too in this video because i really like how they do stuff from this is from a reviewer's perspective so you're gonna get your head in to the reviewer side of things here so hang on let's just take a little vip Mm -mm -mm. and so today I, I didn't even know that this was the way they did stuff and um, but today I got a um, today or yesterday I got an or five days ago actually <laughs> it shows how much I pay attention I got an email from Bordeaux too which is uh, it's basically like an advertising email that they send out to people on their mailing list I presume um, and they did a really awesome little thing um, with you know a link to my video, an image of me. Um, they quoted things that I had said for each liquid for the video, um, which was awesome. They had me quoted here. It's one of the few samplers I've received from a company to review where I've liked absolutely every flavor and will probably buy more. So you should definitely check out Bordeaux too. Rob the Vapor 2015. <laughs> but that, I just thought that that was really cool because, you know, it, it's weird. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes companies, like they'll send you stuff and it just goes up on YouTube and that's that. It's just, it's just there. But um, these, you know, what I want is... Or what I think should happen is that, you know, they should be embedding, if it's a positive review, they should be, like, embedding it on their site. You know, because ultimately, if a reviewer likes something, you know, and they have a following, then that's a really good endorsement, you know. Maybe not so much people in my league. I've got, like, 500 subs, nearly 600. But the guys that have, like, 10, 20, 30,000, like, the bigger guys... You know that's a really good thing so i don't understand sometimes why they don't you know put it out there for the reviewer because you know they should be getting their money's worth too if they're sending you something that costs 50 60 70 dollars and you do a review then you know why don't they get their money back put the review on their page i mean it looks more professional it's nice to have a video that goes with the product because everyone likes to see it otherwise reviews wouldn't exist you know video reviews wouldn't exist otherwise so you know it's kind of silly <laughs> i love the quote they have uh, for, for this stuff um uh to me it's like an actimel or something the orange one that's that's a classic me quote <laughs> bang on for me i would recommend this to everyone yeah, so they're, they are really good liquids. I've I've vaped like pretty much all of them now. There's like nothing really left in these bottles. Um, so yeah, I I really did enjoy them. But so yeah, that's it, guys. Really, if you want to watch some reviewers, I would recommend Iron Hammer, uh, Iron Hammer Vaping, which is Bobby, who I do vaping out loud with. He is my co-host on that show. Vape Miser, who is now back doing videos again. If you've ever had an Nautilus and YouTube searched a problem, you've probably seen him. Uh, he's a really good guy, sweet dude, awesome guy. And then the other guy is a guy that I've only talked to once, but I, I thought he was a really cool guy. I really like his videos, and he's growing crazy quick. And his name is Vaping Biker. Um, he's a really cool dude. I've had limited chats with him, but um, he uh, he he's growing crazy quick he like completely overtook me on his bike in like no time so check him out he's a really nice guy um so yeah that's about it guys really i don't have much more to say other than videos are going to be slow for the next while until i figure out what i'm going to do but uh, i've been rob the vapor thank you for watching we're under 10 minutes happy days and uh yeah see you next time guys